In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create neomorphic design in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks when I click the first triangle or the pyramid comes. You can see here this looks like a, a kind of a neomorphic design and then you can put the, the title, I've put the idea and then I can add some detailed text along with the icon. When I click the second pyramid comes, the investment, the third one, the support, fourth is the partnership and the fifth is a success so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you'd like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this however with the older version also it's possible so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the slide background to this color. In this case, I've used eyes blue. You can go to more colors and you can see here, uh, this is the color combination. You can just uh, use this one and then go to the view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose the triangle, draw the triangle by holding the shift key. Maybe this much size shape outline, make it no outline and make sure to align center align middle all right so once this is done i'm going to give a gradient fill for this one select a gradient fill here i'm going to use two color one color which i'm going to use the same color which i've used for the background here and the other color i'm just going to use a very light color here you can see here okay you can just adjust it according to your need okay and then you can you can see here you can make a little bit of white whitish so uh, uh, if you see here this particular uh, triangle is not visible so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to press ctrl d to duplicate this one and i'm going to make it a solid fill okay solid fill i'm going to make it a white color and then go to the effects under soft edges increase the size you can see here like this and then come here and send this to back so it looks something like this that is some kind of a light a bright light comes out if you want you can just increase the size by holding the shift key and move it a little bit so that you can see a small light comes from the the left side so again i'm going to select this shape press ctrl d now again this one i'm going to make it a solid fill now this time i'm going to make it a gray color increase the transparency maybe 280 to 85 percent then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size all right then increase the size a little bit more and i'm going to put it here send this to back so you can see here i have made a kind of a uh, design like this so this one i can move it somewhat up as well okay so it looks something like this so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this shapes press ctrl g to group it then i'm going to hold the ctrl shift key add it towards the right go to the shape format rotate i'm going to make it a flip vertical and move this closer to the first one and then hold the ctrl shift key i'm just going to add one more here so you can see here i have added three then i'm going to select this one add one more here this is the fourth and then I'm going to add towards the right and this is the fifth All right now select one two three four five by holding the shift key or you can press ctrl a as well then go to the align and say distribute horizontally so it will give equal spacing between these triangles so once this is done now it's time to add some uh, text here so first of all go to insert text box I'm going to type say title 01 center align you can choose maybe a blue color or gray color whatever color which you prefer make it bold and put it here exactly in this one then go to insert text box and you can use equals l-o-r-e-m within bracket one and this text the long test i'm going to delete it make it somewhat gray center align reduce the size and put it here like this 
all right so this one i'm going to group it hold the control shift key put this one here in the center hold the control shift key put it in the center all right then i'm going to select this one control d put it here one all right and hold the control shift key bring this one here all right and if you're going to use the latest version you can go to insert icons you can insert any icons of your choice i'm just going to randomly select five different icons you can see here and maybe this one and this one i'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 shape outline you can give a blue one shape fill you can make it no fill and then i'm just going to put it here exactly in the center like this you can see here i can just put it like this and if it is uh, not clearly visible you can increase the border area or the border line for this one so you can see here uh, this is the way you can create this neomorphic design and if you liked to do some basic animation you can use some uh, animation which is fly in you can do that animation for this particular slide